One thing a lot of fiction writers forget is to pretend. The art of storytelling comes out of the mental ability we have to pretend. You know, great, great writing can be the only goal, but I think that, that better writing occurs when, when it is not the only goal. If you have a goal of having pretend worlds that you can feel very strongly that you visit and that you become a self-entertainer, that you learn to learn to entertain and entertain yourself in your own mind. The, the, these are abilities of the artist. When developing the skill of using the theater of the mind, this is another wonderful thing about art. It gets, it gets better as you get older. Think about the story ideas that you're working with and try to remember back to the time when you thought of them. And I, I, I bet you that you will remember that you were in a state of pretending when you came up with those new ideas. So because we want to become better writers, for a time we, we kind of put aside the goal of, of writing and consciously decide to spend time with the goal that if we can entertain ourselves first in our own minds, then in the long run, that is going to play out much better on the page. For an exercise, just have a story that you're working on and decide, okay, once a day I am going to pretend to go there. I am going to pretend to talk to one of the characters in my story. It doesn't have to, I don't have to talk to them about things that pertain exactly to that story. I could talk to them about childhood experiences they've had or, or what they're going to make for dinner that night. I'm going to, in one pretend session, I'm going to, to imagine what it would be like to walk the streets of my fictional city at night and, and to look into windows and what would happen if I could wander into shops and, 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 and listen in on the conversations that fictional characters were having. A state of pretending is an ability to feel like we are really there, that we really know those characters, that they feel real to us, the actions they do and the scenery around us and the things that take place that we're imagining, we, we feel like they're happening. And because most people lose that ability as they get older, we think of the pretend state as something that only happened in childhood. But if you continue using it, you'll, you'll, you'll keep that the ability to enter the pretend state. Basically, what we're trying to do is develop the ability to create and visit virtual realities in our own mind. One great way of doing this is to read. By reading, you develop the theater of the mind. You develop the, these mental, uh, the mental abilities of creating worlds within your own mind and occupying those places in imagination. So the next time when you sit down to write, before you start your usual way, start out by deciding to pretend your story. So sit down, think about the, the scene you're working on, and just try to take yourself to that scene and enjoy being there and, and, and pretend that you are there and, and what it would feel like and the way things would look. And the point of the pretend state is, is enjoyment. So what you want to do is you want to, to go about it in such a way that, that you're, you, you set aside your goals, your, your goal for, for the, this particular point in, in your writing work is to practice in such a way that you're relaxed about it and you can enjoy it and and th this will give it a chance for these great mental faculties to, to shift into gear and start working for you. If you're on a commute, if you're if you find yourself at a point in a day when when your mind is free but you have to be there for one reason or another, you can visit your story and think of it as a virtual world that you could go into and, and 
the, the stronger the feeling is, the, the more often that you enter the pretend state and, and, and occupy your story in, in that way, the, the more powerful your writing is going to be, the more convincing your writing is going to be, the more inner enthusiasm you will have to write, the clearer you know what's going to happen in the story, what can and can't happen in the story, the more of an intuitive feeling you you have about the way your story is going to work and fall into place and all the possibilities. You'll be able to be more creative about what characters will do and what terrible and wonderful things that can happen. So the pretend state is a very powerful writer's tool. The, pre the pretend state is pretty much like meditation for artists. You know that that people who want to develop their inner world will learn meditation and they'll spend years developing it and, and people who have done it for a long time can, can go so much further than people that are, that are just starting out. With the pretend state, the more you develop it, the, the more real it's going to seem, the more f full the world will be that you can take yourself to. So. This is something that, that for a while, make it, make it your resolution to, to treat it almost like a meditation and enter the pretend state. And aside from the writing, get in the habit of, of entering it daily and, and make a point of it and do it consciously. I'm sure that, that most, most of you pretend to, to some extent, if you're a fiction, fiction writer, of course, good stories are filled with good characters. So what I'll do is I'll just make sure to, to set time aside where I pretend to be with that character and what their voice will sound like and, and the vibe I get off of them, their personality, the way they make me feel, the, the kind of sense I have about what they will or won't do. And this, uh, this, I feel like I come up with more natural characters that way, more convincing characters. I usually integrate the pretend state right into my writing. So I'm actually sitting there writing and it just takes me a couple of seconds just to say, okay, I'm there right now. What does it look like? What's going on? And then I can use that to inform my writing and, and, and it doesn't slow my writing down. And don't ex expect the fictional world to be all completely finished when you first get there. When you first get there and start working with it and imagining it, it it's going to be sparse. There just is not not going to be that much there. Like the chapters in, in my story that I'm working on are very developed. I feel like I could, you know, take a couple of steps and I step right into it. Later chapters are not. When I, when I occasionally change one or two things with them. They, they seem like these vast, empty parking lots or, or landscapes with, with nothing. They're not furnished. There's no, you know, I don't know what the people look like. I don't know what the weather is like. And, but eventually I'll get there and, and can start developing it. And now, I, I have no way of proving this, but I, I have the feeling that stories that, that come out of a certain amount of the pretend state are these stories that, that, that claim the hearts of the viewers, that, that, that automatically there's something in them that, that as, as readers and viewers we, 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 we just jump right on board. We're, we're with it. Everything that happens in the story, we feel like it happens to us. And, and, and so I think that great writing ultimately should be about great storytelling and, and st story, stories come out of the pretend state. And I'm not saying this is the end all be all of writing. I'm just saying that it's, a, it's an important part of good writing. In, if you're ever feeling it all stuck or like something hasn't quite fallen into place in, your, in the story you're working on, pretend it, imagine it, and see if those pieces do fall into place. I hope that was helpful. I want to take the time to thank the people who have, have left comments on my videos. I read them. I greatly appreciate it. I do hear you and, 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 and 
I want to thank you, and and I I, I just I appreciate so much the, the the positive feedback I've gotten. Please, if you if you have time, check out the the webisodes, the illustrated fiction I'm working on at solomation.com. The name of the the story is Terrible Immunity, and if you like this video and would like to see more like it, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I hope your writing goes great, that, that you discover some wonderful new stories, and have a good day.